Then I'll show you how to pull this information into CalTopo, Sartopo. And um, what I'm going to do is when I pull in the mapping mission, it's going to show me the range. It's just going to show me this, essentially this square, if you will. And then it's going to pull in my points. And one thing to note is that these points in the DJI app, they're colored and they're pretty. But when you go to uh, CalTopo, they're just going to be black pinpoints. And I'll show you that. So let's go in here and let's change this one because we think it could be something interesting. Um, we're going to call it hit. Okay, potential hit for a missing person. So we're going to label that, and then we're going to close that. So now I want to export my my mapping missions already saved. My pins need to be exported uh, into a KML file. So I'm going to hold down the pin icon. I'm going to go to check all pins, uh, and I have another video showing how to do this, of course. Click that export button in the top of your little menu. Export. Export success. So now we can go over to CalTopo, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you how we pull in information. Um, we'll use our mapping mission just to show our grid and the area that we were searching. And we'll use our KML of our pinpoints, and that'll kind of show us almost like a progress indicator of how much area we've covered. And so we we'll scroll over to the right. So just drag the, the, the desktop, and you're going to see CalTopo installed on the page two. So I'm opening that. Now in the top right corner, there's a folder with a pinpoint on the top of it. You can click on that. You can click Import in the top left. Click Import. Okay. So now, first thing we can do, we can pull, pull our pins in. So at 702, you can see that file. We're going to pull that in. So I have all, a bunch of older files. And it's not even showing everything. Oh, no, it is there, there. Okay. So we're going to import that. So now that I imported everything, you can click that X. So now there's all my pins. That's my coverage. That's what I've done. But let's compare that to... Um, what I'm supposed to do, or what I'm of uh, my suggested or my grid, right? What I was assigned. So go back to the folder again. Click on that. Click import. Now go back up to DJI folder mission KML, and we're going to go to that latest folder. Um, these should be in order of sort by modify newest first. Okay. So that top one should be my mapping five, and it is. So I can click on that, and you can see it says shape. It's pulling in a shape. It's not pulling all the all the endpoints of your your lines. Now that is possible, and I can show you how to do that. Import that. Import. Close. So now I have my grid search area, and I have all of the points that I use for that. All right, and this drone's been up there the whole time I've been talking, so it's time to bring it home for a battery. <laughs> Almost forgot about it. To get CalTopo on your RC Pro, you'll need to first go to an APK downloader. Since you can't use uh, the installer directly from the Google Play Store. So, search APK downloader in your browser. And one of the ones I'd heard of um, that I decided to try, um, and, the, and let me explain something too. You don't want to do this on your RC Pro directly because your RC Pro does not have um, firewalls, virus protection. So you're at risk. So you do this on your desktop, your laptop, and then we're going to run a scan on the file to make sure that we don't put something that's suspect on our RC Pro. So I went to APK Pure, okay? You go over here, and we're going to search CalTopo for CalTop. Gosh, what? Try that one more time. All right, so there's CalTopo. 
We're going to click download. We're going to do download APK. And you can scroll back down here. Hit it again. Okay. So there's a few steps, right? And then when it's going to go into your downloads and you're going to have that file here. So the next step is going to be connecting your RC Pro to your uh, desktop or your laptop. And you're going to move this file over into the downloads folder of your internal storage on your RC Pro. Okay, so to install CalTopo on your RC Pro, um, I'm going to link a video in the description uh, from Middle Loop, and it's regarding installing third-party apps. When you install third-party apps on your RC Pro, your RC Pro does not have uh, virus protection or anything, so you, you're at risk. So step one is to download the installer file from, in my case, I downloaded it from a company called APK Pure, and you just go on there, search for CalTopo, and then you download the um, the APK installer file. Uh, from there, I connected my RC Pro to the computer, and then I moved it over, um, in this case, to the to the download file or folder, okay? You go in there, it's gonna ask you and you gotta accept the risk. And I hit continue previously and I've already installed it. And it's gonna be over here on my second page.